To complete the table, we will first write the fractions as decimals, then write the decimals as percentages. Because a fraction bar means division, to convert a fraction to a decimal, we divide the numerator by the denominator. So for the fraction 3 eighths, 3 eighths is equivalent to 3 divided by 8. Let's show the division on the right. Three-eighths is equal to point three seven five. However, we normally place a zero in the ones place value and write the decimal as zero point three seven five. Next we have the fraction seven fourths. Seven fourths is equivalent to seven divided by four. Again, let's show the division on the right. Seven fourths equals 1.75. For the last row, notice how we have a mixed number. We have two and three fifths. One option would be to convert three fifths to a decimal by dividing three by five and then adding two. But let's write the mixed number as an improper fraction where the denominator remains five and the numerator is five times two plus three, which is 13 and 13 fifths is equivalent to 13 divided by five. Again, let's show the division on the right. Two and three fifths equals 2.6 as a decimal. And now let's convert the decimals to percentages. We will show two methods for doing this. For the first method, we will write the decimal as a fraction. Then, if the denominator of the fraction is not 100, we rewrite the fraction as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. This is important because remember, a percent is a number compared to 100. And then step three, we write the ratio of fraction with the denominator of 100 as a percent. The second method is a shortcut method in which we begin with the decimal, move the decimal point two places to the right, and then add a percent sign. We will show both methods for these three examples. Beginning with 0 0.375, we can write this as a fraction two ways. If we know our place values, we read this decimal as 375 thousandths. In this form, we need to write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, and because 1,000 divided by 10 is equal to 100, we divide the numerator and denominator by 10. 375 divided by 10 equals 37.5. 1,000 divided by 10 is equal to 100. Now that we have a fraction or ratio with a denominator of 100, the numerator indicates the percentage. This is equal to 37.5%. Another way to write 0 0.375 as a fraction is to just write 0 0.375 over one And now in this form, to write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 100. 0 0.375 times 100 is 37.5. And of course, one times 100 is equal to 100, giving us the same result of 37.5%. So this is the percent. Let's also take a look at the shortcut method for converting the decimal to a percent. Beginning with the decimal, the shortcut is to move the decimal point two places to the right, so one, two, the decimal point is now here, and then we add a percent sign. And of course we can now remove the old decimal. And notice how this also gives us 37.5%. Now let's look at the decimal 1.75. 1.75 is equivalent to one and 75 hundredths using place value. Notice how the denominator is already 100, 
but we need to write the mixed number as an improper fraction to determine the percentage. The denominator remains 100, and the numerator is 100 times 1 plus 75, which is 175. Because the denominator is 100, the numerator indicates the percentage. This is equal to 175%. Or another way is to start with 1.75 and write the decimal as a fraction with a denominator of 1. And now to write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 100. 1.75 times 100 is equal to 175. 1 times 100 is equal to 100, giving us the same percentage of 175%. And for the shortcut method, beginning with 1.75, with the decimal point two places to the right, 1, 2, the decimal point is now here, at a percent sign. We can now remove the old decimal which of course also gives us 175%. And now let's look at the last decimal of 2.6. 2.6 is equal to 2 and 6 tenths. Now we write the mixed number as an improper fraction. The denominator remains 10. The numerator is 10 times 2 plus 6, which is 26. Now we write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, which means we now multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 because 10 times 10 is 100. 26 times 10 is equal to 260. 10 times 10 is 100. Because we have a denominator of 100, the numerator indicates this is equal to 260%. Or we can also write 2.6 as a fraction with a denominator of 1. And now to write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 100. 2.6 times 100 is 260. 1 times 100 is 100, giving us 260%. And let's show the shortcut one last time. Beginning with 2.6, with the decimal point two places to the right, so 1 and 2. The new decimal point is here. Notice how we are missing a digit here. We always replace missing digits with zeros and then add a percent sign. And of course now we can remove the old decimal point, which does give us 260%. I hope you found this helpful.